What's going on, y'all? Carlota here, back with another video on your screen. I'm here with one of the top trainers in the world, Jose Benavides Sr. You know, uh, runs runs the Benavides stable, and I appreciate you coming back on the channel, sir. I know time is money, and uh, fight week is upon us. And uh, gearing up for this uh, September 4th, how are you feeling? Super excited, man. You know, it's a big, uh, big opportunity for Jose Valenzuela. Uh, you know, we had a, originally another opponent, uh, but uh, they, 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 now we're fighting a guy that has uh, 14 fights, 13, 14, uh, 14 fights, 13 knockouts, a very dangerous fighter, another fighter that's going to take uh, Jose Valenzuela to deep waters. And, uh, you know, we're ready. We're ready for anything that comes on Sunday. Uh, you know, if he wants to uh, go to the next level, we can't just win the fight. He has to look impressive in, the, in order to yeah. go to the bigger fights. Amen, amen. And then I was also hearing that um, it was supposed to be um, uh, Pachenko's brother was supposed to be fighting too, right? Or that's yeah, not yeah, he's gonna be fighting on the undercard of Fundora. Uh, I, I believe it, that's in October. Um, and then we have a uh, Pacheco fighting on the undercard of uh, uh Canel Alvarez and uh, Triple G, yes, sir, yes, sir. And uh, uh, bring it back a little bit, um about um, Junior's past fight against Danny Garcia. How did you feel about his performance? I was super satisfied, man. You know, he hasn't fought for a while, you know, uh, going against Danny Garcia. I knew it was a tough fight. You know, uh, Danny Garcia is a champion for a reason, two-time world uh, champion. He's been defending his belt for a long time. Um, you know, it was a it was a, 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 a fight that I thought that if Junior would have uh, pushed the pedal a little bit more, I think he would have got that win. But um, he was more careful and taking, uh, being more cautious, I believe. Uh, but it was a great fight. I was very satisfied with that fight. At least, you know, he's back. Uh, we're uh, trying to get another fight for him and, and keep him rolling. Amen, amen. I can't wait to see that. And um, any updates on, um, on David Benavides? Yeah, we're working uh, on a fight for November, December. So uh, we're pretty close to uh, closing a deal. Uh, and pretty soon we'll, we'll definitely let you guys know. Amen, amen. Thank you. And uh, talk about the fight camp for Venezuela. How do you feel like he did? And uh, and um, his per his preparation for the fight. Well, I'm super satisfied with the camp. Uh, uh, after his fight, he only took like a week off. He came back to the gym, ready to work. He's been working since then. So no excuses, no injuries. Everything's been going well, like I said. Uh, he's ready for whatever his opponent was chained to a guy that's very dangerous also but we're ready no you know we're ready to 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 fight anybody even though you know uh things happen in, in boxing uh if something wouldn't happen on these days with a uh, pitbull and uh if his fault comes down you know with the fighter or something you know we'll, we're, we'll we'll definitely take that fight too you know we're ready we're ready in our mind is uh we're ready for whatever any opportunities you know uh, we'll, we'll take any opportunities. You know, we're not afraid to risk our undefeated record. You know, we're just ready to go. We train hard and, uh, and we're ready. We're ready for any opportunity. Excellent. Excellent, man. I'm, I'm, I'm hyped, bro. I can't wait. I can't wait to see all the fights posting up. And, um, uh, I've been recently talking to, um, Julio, um, Hernandez, um, Al Chapo, the, yeah. Um, yeah, from the young fighter of your camp. And uh, how do you feel like his work ethic has been doing? I've seen him. You know, that kid, is, it's unbelievable because this kid has only been work, training for like about a year. He already has like three fights. Uh, he works hard. He's very hungry. He, he sees the uh, uh, David Jr., Rayo, and Jr. So that feeds him. That motivates him a lot, you know. So he knows he has to work really hard. And he's been doing good. He's been stopping all his opponents. But it's unbelievable because he don't – he didn't even have no amateur fights, you know? So yeah. um, three fights, three knockouts, you know, uh, he's been doing really good. He's super motivated. And uh, uh, he has a fight coming up, like, in about two weeks also. And uh, it's a tough fight. Uh, he's fighting a guy that had, like, maybe 60, 70 amateur fights. Uh, and uh, he's going to fight that guy. So, I mean, you know, uh, uh, he's ready to go, too. Man, man, all your fighters are so in tip-top shape. And, um, you know, how do you get them to that tip top shape? Is it, is it all their mental? Is it a, like it's, mental? It, it, it's the, it's a discipline, man. You know, to be honest with you, I'm, I, I love what we do. We dedicate ourselves. Yeah. We dedicate ourselves and, you know, uh, 
man, you know, boxing is it, it, not easy. So we're here to to fight anybody, you know, to be honest with you. We need to risk uh, our undefeated records and and uh, show the people that that we got, you know, uh, some skills. So so we're not afraid, man. You know, we're here to take take anybody in order to make history in boxing. You know, uh, we have to fight anybody. You know, we're not running from anybody. You know, a loss doesn't mean anything. It's just a, a, a learning, you know, experience. You know, but thank God, all, all most of my fighters are undefeated, and uh, but we're not re- we're not we're not afraid to lose, you know, because I think that will take us to another better place and, and learn, you know, uh, all the greats had a loss, you know, so right now we're unstoppable. We're ready to go. We're not afraid. You know, we, we're not uh, choosing opponents, you know, we're not like, uh, we're like uh, thinking, okay, we're not going to fight this guy. We're going to fight this guy. We're not running from nobody. You know, we'll take any opportunity, our hard work uh, shows and, and we're going to continue to work hard and we're going to continue to, talk shit, you know, to all the fighters because, uh, you know, I'm living the opportunity right now and I'm living the moment and I'm taking advantage of every minute of it. Amen, bro. Amen. And you're a big, um, you're a big inspiration to my channel. And uh, I always appreciate you uh, take, giving me a fair shake and coming on my show and, you know, Thank taking you. time out of your day. I know time is money. And um, I know Diego Pachenko's uh, next fight is going to be the biggest fight, one of his biggest fight of his career, you know, fighting on the undercard. And uh, how do you feel about that? Do you feel like um, for the look at the gym, basically? Well, you know, uh, he has all the support behind him, you know, uh, the zone, the zone match room, you know, it's uh, behind him and, and supporting his career. Uh, they're doing the best that they can. And uh, we're super thankful for that. You know, they're, they're taking care of him, you know, now he just has to perform. He's working really hard. He knows the big opportunity he has in front of him. And uh, he's working hard, you know. I mean, uh, he's getting better and better little by little. And uh, uh, this fight, it's a little tougher. You know, every fight's going to be tougher for him, you know. So, like I said, you know, we're not afraid to take any risks. You know, we're, we're there with the mentality we're going to win. And, you know, but if anything happens, you know, that's not going to stop us, you know. But yeah. in our head, is we're going to win. We're going to look spectacular. And that's the plan. Amen. Amen. And uh, like, so looking, looking forward, you know, later on this year, what's the plans? Um, any big ideas going on for the gym? No, man, you know, to be honest with you, the gym is doing really well. You know, the fighters are doing really good. Uh, my job is just to keep them motivated and keep working hard. Don't stop. And, you know, we're not changing anything. We're continuing to learn and, and, and try different things in order to get better. We never stop learning. We're just so motivated and so thank, thankful to God, you know, that we're healthy, you know, and and uh, we're just doing what we're doing and what we know how to do, you know. And the most important thing is discipline and, and making sacrifices. I think that's the key for victory. And we're, 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 we're keeping that, staying grounded and, and staying focused. For sure, for sure. And I ask every, um, to end off every interview, I ask everybody the same question now is what's four things in your life that you're most proud about? You know what? To be honest, man, you know, I, I feel that I haven't done anything. We're barely uh, touching the surface. I, I couldn't even, you know, say anything at this point. You know, we're going to continue working hard and and see in the future, you know. I, we haven't done anything, bro. You know, in my life, I don't think I haven't done anything. I'm still learning every day. I'm super motivated, you know, and um uh, I, I, to be honest, you know, I, I, I got a lot to do, you know, so, so far, so good. Let's see in the future, you know, uh, once I have more champions and we accomplish a little bit more, maybe that's what I'm, I'm going to be proud of. But I think we haven't done anything. We're still grinding. We're working hard and see what the future holds for us. Man, super humble, bro. I always appreciate you, you know, uh, always you. Get straight up. Um, I appreciate your time. Thank you again. And uh, I can't wait to talk to you in the near future. Thank you, bro. And thank you to all the fans for all the support. Thank you so much for the interview. Amen. Y'all go check him out. His links will be in the description down below. Go check out the upcoming fight. Venezuela, his whole squad is going is week after week. You know, go check him out. Go follow him. Team Benavides, Jose Benavides Sr., always for updates. Appreciate y'all. Thank you, brother. Have a good day. Bro. You too.